Hello guys, so Jerry speaking, welcome to Bedtime Stories, episode number 212, and today we do Luca, um, how to be a sea monster, so let's read it now, so get, shall we, so we got for us, Luca, how to be a, be a land monster, excuse me, so okay, anyway, this is a, um, it's written by Steve Belling, how to pronounce his last name. Illustrated by the Disney Storybook Art Team. Copyright 2021, published by um, Ram House Pitchback Book. Published by Ram House New York, copyright 2021 by Disney Enterprise Inc. and Pixar. All I deserve. And see here, it's a, it's a picture seen here for the land monster. But anyway. Have you ever heard of some those old stories about sea monsters? Okay. Something there. Um, just tall tales. Me meant the scare sailors. Sailors, I meant to pronounce that, sorry. Um, or keep fishermen away from the good fishing spots. Wow, okay. And they are right up uh, about Kraken and, um, mermaids. Little mermaids, that is. Anyway. Their creatures are completely made up. Mm-hmm. But as you well know, um, some of these stories are not made up. Sea monsters like us are very, very real. Mm-hmm. Exactly what I was supposed to tell you. You had to become a sea monster to be real about swimming, you know. Makes sense in any way. Next page. Anyway. Let me introduce myself. I'm Luca. Okay. The one that they furry smile. Okay. With me in it is is um Alberto. Okay. He says he's the handsome one. Okay. All sea monsters were fr are friendly. Okay. Even uh though most uh, humans are afraid of us. We're a lot like them in many ways. We're like, with, with uh, we we'll live with our families, okay? We hang out with friends. We we do chores. We play games. But the world is that uh, we live in are pretty different, okay? Some sea monsters are full of curiosity about the human world. That's why we're here. Our bro and I are going to be to teach you how to survive on land. And I really love to do that, but at the time, yes, it really makes more sense in any way, even though it's a difference between the beach and the island, you know. And no, it's not the island, so it's island difference. But that's just me, of course. Next page. Anyway. Now, you might be wondering, why do I ever want to explore this world above? Good question. So I want to know why I want to discover the world under the sea. I don't know. Anyway, let's take a well, let's take a swim and I'll show you. Okay. You'll see um those rocky cliffs with those brightly colored buildings and. The rolling green hills in the, in the distance? Well, Elsham difference, that is. Anyway. That is a portrait. Possible. Well, have announced this word. Sorry. The uh, most wonderful seaside of town in the, is in the world. Exactly. Just think of all the adventures that await us there. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that sound amazing? Of course it does. But before we do go, we have to look, we have the work to do. Come on. Now before I show you the, the, the come on parts, I have to show you, show you the pages first. Now this is a very good difference between the pages and swimming lessons in order to do the land monsters difference. So there you go on that. Next page. Anyway. First things first, if you want to go on land, you need to look at, at, at like a human, like me, 
or a land monster, which is what sometimes call them. Mm hmm. Yep. Exactly. Lucky for us, sea monsters can take us a human face. Uh huh. Form. Excuse me, look, anyway. All you have to do is dry yourself off. Uh huh. Yep. What comes after the hard part? You must be learning to control your new new legs. Uh huh. Yeah. This is called walking. Mm hmm. Abrel says he's basically invented walking. So we have the few tips that you like to share. Abrel's walking tips are number one. Walking is just like swimming, but without fins or the tail. Also, there's no water. Mm hmm. Exactly. I was a human form, and human beings are talk like this. Number two, land on your head. I exactly do like that. Like, you wiggle your head like that. It don't matter. And three, point your feet where you want to go and catch yourself before you fall. And I exactly agree about that 100%. Even though, it's a, even though I don't want to faint anymore. So, thank God for that. Next page. Anyway. One of the greatest things about transforming the human monster, apart from walking, is riding a t I can't pronounce that. Sorry. Was it? I can't pronounce that. Sorry. It's a. Uh, it's a skewer, okay? And a skewer means freedom. A skewer will take you anywhere you want to go. Mm hmm. Makes sense. I cannot pronounce that B word, sorry. Anyway, skewers are a short supply of the ocean. Mm -hmm. I can't pronounce that V word, sorry. Lesbos, okay, I will pronounce it, sorry. Anyway, um, in fact, you might uh, even say they're non existent, okay, makes sense. But that doesn't mean that we can't put our heads together and make one on our own. Mm -hmm. Since our burial, like to collect things for the human form, we have plenty of parts. Had one of the Vespas we made. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, indeed, it was beautiful. You gotta have to do something to make the movie post look different in the web page and looks different to see the Vespas look different. Where's Vespa? Tell it to different, anyway. <laughs> JK. Um, next page. Anyway, it's important to remember. That even if you have the parts to uh, to build a Vespas, um, that doesn't mean you get your Vespa to work. Mm hmm. Okay, makes sense. Anyway, when Abrail um took our as um the test drive, it doesn't exactly go as planned, but that's okay. Mm hmm. You can always build a new one. Mm -hmm. Yup, exactly. Maybe our time together would be better spent if I go with you a number of tip on how to blend better with a human wall. Mm -hmm. Yup. I probably suggested styling your hair. Mm -hmm. Yup. With sea snail small. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Slime, excuse me. Mm. I spoke. Anyway, look at us sporting a cool land monster hairdo. Mm hmm. Yup, exactly. Just at least do something about this. So there you go. Next page. Anyway, but so now you're now how to transform walk by a Vespa and style your her hair like a land monster. You ready to explore? Okay, that I, pen I cannot pronounce. Sorry. As you walk pa past land monsters, check out the shops and scroll down the streets. Remember, these are poor do's and don'ts. Do eat the watermelon. It's delicious. Yeah, I agree with that. Don't eat a skewer ball. Soccer ball. Excuse me, Mr. Book. Anyway, it's one of the worst things you ever do with a land monster. Anyway. It's not delicious, it's also not food. Uh-huh, yeah. Do listen to the land monsters talking. 
is hearing beautiful music, huh? Yep. Don't interfere fear with land monsters playing cards. They are very bitter about their games. No, no. At a time, yes, it's kind of reminds me of game shows like my cards difference. I don't do that at the time to land monsters, so no. So yeah, yeah, land monsters can make sense. So I have to agree or disagree on this. But Cookie Monster, I mean, uh, well, Sesame Street monsters will be fine with that, but these monsters, I may not agree. Next page. Anyway. One of the best things about being a land is making new friends. Take Gola, for example. Uh, she's one of the bicycle. Our bird and I could tell you right away that Gota will make a fantastic friend. Mm hmm Yep. Then there's, um, uh, uh there are uh, some land monsters, uh huh? Like Ghost Father, Massimo, who might seem kind of scary at first, uh huh? But once, um, you got to pass in the, his big uh, muscles and sharp knives, you find out that he's a pretty good friend as well. Oh, well, we, um, almost forgot to mention this. Beware of cats. Beware. I don't know about that, but we'll see. Do not be fooled by cute noses and whiskers. I don't know about this. We'll see. Although they may be appear to be friendly, they are the scariest, furriest monsters of them all. Yeah, I'm allergic, so some parts of my movie allergic, some parts of it I'm not. It's maybe sniffly, but that's just me. Mom, if you watch this, you're allergic to the cats, but that's just me, of course. Next page. Anyway, there are all kinds of challenges waiting for us in the human world. Perhaps the greatest of you, uh, uh, one that you encounter on the human who really wanted to catch a live sea, sea monster, huh? Peaky land monsters like these, um, especially um, this one guy named Erico, on the opposite of fun. I don't know. You have two choices. One, you said you can avoid these land monsters and hope we can, they won't bother you. Or two, you can stand up and just do that. Mm -hmm. After all, you're stronger than they they are. Mm -hmm. Yep. You don't have to let these bullies push you around. I have to agree with that 100%. Do something about these bullies and fight them, please. Thank you. We're almost done with the book, so there you go. Next page. Anyway, want to know about another challenge in the human world? It's a little thing land monsters call rain. Rain is water that falls in the sky, which can make us transform back and see what monsters shows. Uh huh. Yeah. Who thought that it was a good idea? Anyway, if you get caught in the rain and pesky land monster like. Er Erico spots you. Why? You need to make a fast getaway. And how better you do that than on the bicycle. Make sure you ask your land monster friend to teach you that you have to ride a bike. In case this ever comes up. No matter what you're doing on land, it's important to have a friend to help you out out of the tight spots, uh huh, yep. And by that, um, that the tight spots were mean, being caught in the fisherman's net. If you watch this, Dad, but it's for you. You love fishing, don't you? Yeah. Next page. Yeah, it might be the last page of the book. I don't know. Yeah, two. There'll be three pages. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Despite some dangers, the human world is a very special place. It full up wonders, both small and large. By looking at ice cream cone on a hot summer day, gazing up at night sky full of twinkling stars, and making a new friend who's just 
happens to be a land monster. You may even get this chance to ride on a real Vespa, you know, one that won't fall apart. I have to agree with this Pixar movie, 100%. Just deal with it, you know? That's me, of course. And here comes the last page of the book, stating that, Congratulations. You are officially an honorary land monster. Uh-huh. Yep. And that means you're, the adventures have officially begun. I hope you see you in the land again someday soon. Keep an eye out for cats, okay? I don't know about this. Well, so often, but that's me, of course. So, yeah. It can make sense in any way, so there you go. So, was Luca, how to uh, be a land monster. What do I think about this episode, this book? I think it was amazing. So far, this book was a success. And that was the Bedtime Stories episode number. Um, um, 212. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next one, which is going to be LGBT episode number 940. Um, it's going to be about the, my reaction video to um, Bonzi's Jungle Challenge season 2 episode 5. Now, man, excuse me. I'm going to edit this and go to bed. Till next time, Sue Jones and Bobby's a baby. We get more videos. Excuse me. We can move this episode to Jefferson out. See ya.